Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by my channel Works For Me. Today I'm going to show you how I was able to carve out a small area for a coffee and wine bar that you see behind me. I used to have my coffee and my wine supplies all in the corner of the kitchen and I needed to design a little more prep space in there. So I was able to move everything out into its own little cute spot. Let me show you how I did it. This is where I used to keep my coffee machines. In the drawer immediately below was all of my tea, sugars, stirrers, and even some pot holders and odds and ends. On one shelf below, I had the extra coffee and various appliances. The lower shelf was filled with kids' items that my daughter has now outgrown. After moving everything over to the new coffee bar, we just needed a few more finishing touches. I was even able to use some leftover paint from our storage room. This used to be my office cubby, and the reason is because it's conveniently located between my laundry and my kitchen, and I spend a lot of time in this area. However, I was finding I, I didn't spend a lot of time sitting in this cubby. It basically was just a docking station for my computer and a filing system for my command center, so to speak. You can see I still have this bulletin board sheeting here. We glued it to the inside of the cupboard and there's really no reason to remove it right now, but I'm gonna add some where I've moved my computer. We originally had this hole carved out in the countertop for computer cords, but it turns out to be a bonus feature for a coffee bar. I'll show you what I put here. So I switched out my tall wine stem glasses for stemless glasses so I could fit them down here with the mugs. And now I have space for all of our travel cups, which used to be just in a backstock cupboard somewhere. Got our coffee jar we normally go to and some backstop stock of coffee. Up here we've got wine and some liquor and some syrups for coffee. And then you'll notice I only have one Keurig in this tray right now. I did also have a coffee maker side by side to it, but it's broken, so I need to buy a new one. And you will also notice the blue on the back wall here. I'm gonna come down and paint that down below there as well. I may even paint it up at the top to just give it a feeling of a tall wall with its own purpose in the back. The last thing is this drawer. Now this used to be for a pull-out keyboard, but I've been able to make good use of it for the coffee and drinks. So you'll see the Keurig pods that I have here, which I have room to refill now, and lots of different kinds of sugars and straws, a wine bottle opener and a vacuum sealer, and wine bottle cozy, which I rarely use, but fits in here. And you'll notice that um, I have these matching containers. I could only fit three of them in here. These are from the dollar store, Dollar Tree to be exact. They're actually a dollar each. So this is an old checkbook box. I like to make use of old boxes as long as they look nice. They work really well in drawers. So there you have it. I'll show you some pictures for when I get all the paint done. 